Hello everybody, it's Vortac here and welcome to the 14th episode in our Rising World Let's Play. This is part 2 of our general store build and I have a few little news announcements about Rising World here today. Nothing bad, uh, I guess depending on how you look at it. But uh, I'm going to get started by gathering a few materials, which is not something I generally do on camera. And we will attempt to finish the general store build in our new episode here. So, uh, a lot has happened since the last episode. First off, I want to thank you guys for all of your comments and likes and things. We're going to talk about comments in a bit because I'm having a lot of trouble keeping up lately. And I have a couple tips for you guys uh, for commenting on videos and getting me to actually see and answer your comments every time. Uh, so I'm going to share that with you as well. Uh, but again, thank you for all your comments and suggestions. I'm walking up to this, tr to this tree right now and I have something to share with you. This was a suggestion by someone in an early, earlier video. And I asked you guys in the last episode, how can I gather materials faster? Or maybe it was two episodes ago now. And uh, this, this person had a really good suggestion that I didn't know about. But apparently Rising World has a creative mode. And I gave this a lot of thought. If, if you've been watching my channel for a while back in my Minecraft days, I was really against doing a building series where I used creative mode because I like the survival aspect. But because Rising World doesn't really have a survival aspect to it just yet, I mean, we don't even have food or water or monsters to chase us around, uh, I'm kind of giving this one a little bit of a different treatment. So I've decided from here on out, I'm going to keep the game in creative mode, which doesn't work the same as uh, other games. So I'm going to show you. Whack. One whack chops a tree. One more takes out the stump. One more cuts it into logs. So we still need to go around gathering materials. That part of the game has not changed. But for mining and cutting wood, it's now as easy as one chop or hit with a pickaxe which makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Now, the reason I'm switching it up is because, one, this is a building series, and two, I just do not have the time to sit off camera for hours on end uh, mining resources. Most of my time in this game has been spent uh, in a cave or in a forest trying to gather materials just to make a uh, you know, 15-minute episode. And I just don't want to do that anymore. I want you guys to uh, get good quality content. I feel like the past few episodes I was just being really lazy, but it didn't feel lazy. I felt like I was doing a lot of work and getting very little out of it. Rising World is a game where you take a lot of pride in what you build, uh, especially uh, when it takes so long to gather materials, and I definitely respect that aspect of it, like Worm Online, uh, same thing, a lot of pride when you finish a project, but for a building series, it just isn't working out. So this is how I'm going to be doing it from here on out, for at least for now, uh, maybe if they change some things in the future, we will go back. Uh, I do not mind doing that at all, but I just wanted to let you guys know that was the plan. So hopefully you understand this isn't too big of a change. I'm also going to fly to put roofs on houses and stuff, but other than that, uh, not too much is changing here. So I just want to thank you guys for understanding. I hope that's okay. I hope I'm not disappointing anyone too bad uh, with doing it this way. It's just going to it's gonna do a lot of good for myself uh, going forward with this series. So I appreciate any support on this decision <laughs> now i'm trying to i have i'm having a really hard time i'm trying to mimic the trim i've set out on this general store for the roof and i keep forgetting what the texture of this block is i think i had it up there a second ago this it, it's kind of dark it's got to be that right uh now i also said i would talk about comments uh, this is something I'm going to go over in every single video. If you guys watch all my videos, you're going to hear this speech a few times because I really want to get the word out there to you guys who comment on the channel. Uh, I really, I'm doing my best here to be like fair to everyone, see everyone's comments, and it's it's been really tough. I'll tell you, it's it's really not easy for me to keep up sometimes. So uh, that being said, I have some suggestions for you guys who are commenting and you're like, I I don't know why. He's not seeing this, he's answering everyone else but not me. Or maybe you replied to a comment and you weren't getting any response. Uh, there's a reason for that. I'm going to show it in my vlog on Sunday. I'm going to have um, some uh, screenshots up so you guys can kind of get a better un better understanding of what, what it is I'm going through. But basically, uh, when you reply to a comment that I leave you, or let's say on this video, for example, the first comment there should be, in today's Rising World episode, we build the rest of the general store. Something like that. 
Uh, because I haven't... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Fantastic. Flying, by the way, makes this a lot easier, but also it takes some getting used to. Uh, I, I've been trying to answer your guys' comments. And sometimes you'll ask a follow-up question. For example, someone asks a question and I answer it. I'm like, oh, uh, I use Fraps to record all of my videos, which is true. Uh, then they'll ask, well, what do you use to edit? And when they reply, I don't see the reply. I have to go looking for it. But if you if you leave a comment on a video and you treat it as a brand new comment, meaning like under the video there's a section for leaving comments, you need to reply to me using that. Hopefully that makes sense. I feel like I'm having a little bit of trouble getting my point across here. But basically when you leave a comment on a video, YouTube shows me only comments that are separate from any replies on because of Google Plus. Google Plus is what's making this so damn complicated. All you need to do is leave a comment on a video as if it's just a, a lone comment. Do not hit reply uh, to me if you want me to see what it is that you're saying. And that way, I'll be able to answer your questions and, and read your comments very easily. Otherwise, I have to go digging for it, and I really uh, that's not something I generally do. I, I have a lot going on, and and uh, I, I, I'm just trying my best to keep up with comments. So hopefully that tip helps. I'm going to explain it better in my vlog. I promise. I, uh, I, I was worried that trying to explain it just walking around in Rising World wasn't going to work. And I don't think it will. It really, like, it would help if I had, like, a picture example of what I mean. Because uh, it, I was looking at some of the ways I can lose track of comments. And it's pretty easy. I mean, sometimes even if you hit reply to a video and not a comment, like you're just leaving a random comment, even YouTube will filter those. It, 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 it's ridiculous. I can't win with YouTube in, in the comment section of videos. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> and I'm, I'm hoping to do more. So another thing I asked you guys about was what I can do with the windows in the general store here. And I got a bunch of good suggestions and I even had a couple ideas of my own. Uh, so hopefully we can figure out something that'll look nice for the windows. Uh, right now we're using planks and uh, blocks, kind of like in a hybrid manner, to build the rest of the store. I I really feel like using planks is the best way to go for like walls in terms of economical and like, being economical and saving wood, because uh, it definitely costs a lot less to make the walls. It, with uh, planks, but with the windows, I I'm having some trouble making you know probably, you know, making them look nice because of the way the planks are and how tall they go. I also have been having a lot of trouble rotating them, and you guys in the comments have been trying really hard to explain to me how that works, and I guess just over text it doesn't help. I'm being told to hold F1, and it does different things, and it's it's really, it's really difficult to, like, convey all this over um, text in, in comments. So, I'm going to do my best. What I'm thinking for the windows, though, someone suggested suggested using uh, a bunch, like, four or six window, like, frames and putting them together and filling them with glass. And I think if I did that from the floor up, we could have some pretty nice general store windows. A store like this, I feel like, has, like, windows from floor to ceiling. So, I could definitely do that. That sounds like a very viable option, and I may just do that. My other plan was to use... Um, these these blocks up here that go at an angle and put them down here the same color as the tile and kind of prop the windows in there like it'd be hard to explain without showing you but i don't know if that would work too well i i, I don't know we'll just have to see uh another thing i need to do and i thought i did it we just need to make like four corner pieces for the uh the roof and that'll tie that up nicely we're gonna have to sleep here in a second uh, but the roof here, I'm going to finish in, in just a bit. Oops, one of my favorites. And then we will work on the windows. I don't even know what I'm going to do with the interior of the store yet. I haven't got that far. But uh, we'll definitely get the roof finished up uh, right away. Because that is important. I, I don't know how many I need. Several stacks, I guess. We'll just use all the wood. It's cheap now. <laughs> Okay, so the roof is completed, and now we will do the windows, the dreaded windows. Uh, now, since I didn't really measure any of this out very well, I'm in for kind of a, a treat here with uh, removing some of these planks and replacing them with big windows. 
I like the idea of using several pl panes, though, to make big, big windows. That is what we're going to do. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to take this one. And is, is this one? There we go. Wow. That was big. That was a lot bigger than I thought. Maybe we'll remove some of the wall and kind of start over a little bit here with that. Uh, I have 25... Oh, no. I have tons and tons of planks because I made way too many. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to see with the grid on. Uh, no. Grid? Is that not a thing anymore? Oh, that's that's not planks. That is lumber. These are planks. Okay. Grid. I'm going to see, first off, uh, how many... Let's see. If we drag... If we drag, we get straight up planks. If we use the... Oh, what is it? If we hold F1... Okay, I figured it out. Holding shift resizes the plank. That is what we want. I want to figure out how many of these it takes to fill in our area. I'm going to use the grid. I'm going to place one right here. And we already have what I think is one right here. But we got to remove this and kind of start over. So I'm going to take this out like that. I'm going to put this here. Go back to my grid. And pop it like that. Now, that is what I'm thinking for the window. Now, what we can do is if I hold shift, I can resize this by three and place that there. Now we have two not as big windows, which is probably better. I think that'll look better. So that is what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to pop out all of this. We're gonna start over with the walls because I do have plenty of planks to go around and we're gonna hit G. I'm gonna put in, now is this the, how wide can this go here? Ah, okay, so I wanna go shift and one more out. We want to match the size of that. Come over here. Pop one there. There we go. Getting a little bit more mathematical with Rising World, which is not a bad thing. Uh, and I want to keep my grid on and hold shift and then two, three. Go in like that. Center it there. Perfect. Okay. That's a little more even. This is looking a lot better already. So I'm going to make sure that windows, um, well, I, I haven't made sure that the windows fit the way I think they're supposed to fit inside those little frames. Now the frames I'm referring to are these right here that we have in our house. So I need to make some of those. I'm not sure, I guess the color, I want to match the color of the roof because that's kind of the trim we're using. Uh, let's go into, I have a bunch of lumber, so it's probably just this window frame here with that color. So we're, I think it's like two to the left. And we need to make just a bunch of these. Just a whole bunch, just a mess of them. And I'm going to put them right here. Okay. Let's throw these in and see just how far we get before I commit to the size of the windows. Uh, we don't even know if two of these fit side by side. And it looks like they're not going to. Oh, good. And I put that in too far back anyway, that's okay. So we can put that there. We can put that there. And if we put, let's see. You know what we can do? Well, crap. That's not very even now, is it? Let's, let's kind of like look at this again. Let's take this out. Let's take these out. Go, go away. I know I can one hit these now, okay. We need to try to fit three in the center, and I want to go from this plank here. So one, two, and three. And then if we go on top of these, like this, one, two, and three, we have some pretty decent sized windows, and now I just need to take these planks and pull them in towards the window frame. Not a big deal. Uh, I think if we keep G on, I can hit shift, da, 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 hit shift and resize this sucker so it fits perfectly. I'd say just like that. Let's put another one right here. Let's get our trusty dusty axe. Pop this out. There we go. And yeah, I mean, I, I, I know it's not symmetrical in the sense of like the left plank there and the right plank there. But that's okay, because 
it's mine. And I'm going to keep it this way. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, I didn't think that the general store would look anything like this, to be honest with you. I thought for sure I'd have to do some kind of hokey block thing. But I think I'm okay with placing the window frames like this on top of each other. Because this seems to be working out pretty good. And glass is free, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, the other thing I just have to do is fix these side walls here and pop in the rest of my window frames after I, you know, kind of center this up a little bit. Alright, so I've laid out the windows kind of the way I want to see them. Uh, and we're just going to fill in the rest of the blanks here, throw some glass, and then we got to figure out the shelving in the store. Because, I mean, there are shelves in Rising World, so now it's just kind of a matter of how do we want to do that? Uh, like, to make it still look like a store and not just some kind of messy dorm room. Because some of the shelves... It, it, the game needs a few more options for stores. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but I'm going to put my windows like this. Uh, we can also off-center them. Something to keep in mind for the future. I can do this. Which would be kind of cool, right? Uh, but we'll just do that for now. And, uh, cool. I'm not even sure what the hell this store, uh... I mean, obviously it's a general store, but there's no really items to sell in the game. I don't even think you can craft tools or anything yet, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm probably not, because if we could craft better tools, I would need to use creative mode. I do hope you guys are okay with creative mode, by the way. I, I know I said it before, but I, I have a problem with it. That's just me. I, I'm used to watching people play building games and playing them the right way. But it just really, if you don't own this game, you really don't understand. Uh, but if you play Worm Online, you do understand. It's exactly like that. Uh, it, it works a lot better than Worm Online with its building mechanism. I mean, Worm Online is. That one's tough, man. But still, for recording this series, uh, it's almost impossible without some kind of help. So I, I'm glad that it was pointed out to me. I like the feature. And I hope you guys do too. All right, now we're talking. This is kind of what the store is going to look like. Uh, once we get the glass in and some shelves, I think that'll be it. We just need to look at our options here for shelves. I also got to connect the pathway to it. Uh, but and, and I'd like the front counter to be a little bit better looking. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit, though. Uh, let's go into decoration. No. Doors. No. Where is it going to be? It's not under chest. Like, I'm thinking storage here. Throne. Hmm. Well, tables. We could put tables with selling stuff on them. That, that'd be kind of cool. We have little kitchenette corners here and stuff. That's also an option. Uh, but I'm thinking... Let's see. Seating. Crafting stations. You know, we can get kind of creative with this. I, I actually just got... Kind of an idea, but it would turn it into more of a furniture store. I'm thinking of putting... Ah, cupboards. That's what I was looking for. I'm thinking of putting some kind of... Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe a furniture section in our general store. Uh, but let's, for now... I, I want to make these shelves different than all the other colors we've used so far. I'm thinking a little bit darker is the way to go. So let's make... We have a bunch of lumber, but not a whole lot. <laughs> I can only afford one of these right now. Let's make... A bunch of lumber, because we're going to need to build a lot of furniture, and lumber is like the lifeblood of furniture. We'll go back into this, and we'll go into... Oh, I already lost it. It's cupboards. We have a shelf that was kind of dark, right? It's kind of this color. Let's craft a few of these. I have an idea. We're going to take these shelves. Where the hell are they? Right there. I have seven. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to make sure I center them properly. Uh, <laughs> kind of contour to the land there. That's kind of cool. Let's go. All right. You come into the store. I'm thinking right about, I want to center it on the blocks here on the tiles, which doesn't seem to be possible. Is that not, am I seeing that right? Huh? Weird. Okay. Eh, it's not a big deal. Let's put it like this. Oh, you can't place them together like that, can you? All right, that's fine. Like this and like this. And... Did I even, like, focus on where this is going to be sitting from, like, the door? Uh, I said I would make it even, and I didn't. That's okay. So, shelves like that. 
You guys are like, this doesn't look good at all. This, is <laughs> this isn't going well at all. This is nothing like I imagined. Just give me a sec. Let's put like this. Okay. I know I could press them against each other if I took off the grid, but that's okay. Let's do that. All right. So I could make... All of this, just these shelves, and that would be fine. It's a general store. What else do you expect? What I'm thinking of doing is putting a second shelving unit right here, just like the first one, uh, lined up like that, right there. And I'll, I'll make it just as thick and whatever. And then over here will be kind of a furniture section. We'll sell some tables and stuff. So what I'm going to do is gather up some more wood to make more lumber and more shelves. And uh, then we'll set up the furniture section, which I think would be a lot better than just making a store full of shelves and being lazy about it. I want to get a little more creative than that. I went and collected a whole bunch of wood and got us some lumber. I think we're ready to finish this sucker up. Uh, I also made some furniture and some other things, so I think this will start looking pretty cool here. Uh, or just kind of lame. I don't know. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I think this will be kind of fun. I'm going to place down these shelves. We're going to rotate this one here. So we have a couple of aisles of uh, things to browse through. I wish I could put things on the shelves. Like they, they'd act as chests and things you put would display there. Maybe in the future. Uh, and now we have this nice big open space. And I decided we're going to put some different furniture items. And they're not going to be a part of the same set, which might look kind of silly. Uh, but either way, kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to take these chairs. We're going to hit the grid. And I'm just going to put these kind of sitting as if they're on display for sale, not not like around a table or anything. So we're going to put one there, one there, maybe like that, and like that. I'm going to get this table here. I have two of these. We're going to put these on the grid, and we're going to rotate them like this. I'm going to put a little bit of space between the chairs and, this, and these tables. Put them like that, and just like that. Oops, there we go. And then I'm gonna take these little end tables, also totally different sets, just different colors, uh, and we'll put them maybe, uh, yeah, I could do like back to back, but I don't know, I'm just trying to kind of figure out where everything is. I want them in the, kind of the same section, like this. All right, cool, I'm kind of seeing it a little bit, right? Uh, and then, oh, I have a random-ass chair here. We could just put this, like, uh, maybe facing all of these items. I don't know. Now this is starting to look kind of out of place. I mean, it all looks out of place, but this looks really out of place. Ooh, if only I put the end tables. Let's, I don't know. I like the idea of selling that big chair. It kind of changes things up. Let's get the, rid of these stupid things. We'll put this big chair... Like this. And right there. Armchair. There we go. Okay, so the general store sells some furniture items. I mean, it is a village, and people eventually will need to move in, and they need a place to buy furniture. So, there we go. We have some store, uh, some uh, shelving set up for other items to be sold in the store. And I think that's it. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to grab some cobblestone for the pathway as I say my goodbyes here. I want to thank you guys for watching Rising World. Uh, I hope we can continue doing this series for a long time to come, and that is the reason Creative Mode works so well for me. Uh, so I hope, again, you guys do understand. Uh, it, it's do, Trust me, this is already working out so much better than it did before. This was a pretty long episode, too. I, I think this is going to... I don't know how much I can edit out, but this is probably going to screw up my 15-minute my threshold that I hold these episodes to, which isn't a bad thing. I'm just kind of like, ugh, great. <laughs> that's gonna be a long video, but that's okay. Uh, I I think for me, I feel like I was able to get a lot more done because we were looking at a three-part episode. Uh, by the time I finished all those walls and windows, had I been gathering things manually, I wouldn't have even had the energy to go on and fill the store. That would have been a whole episode in itself. So the other thing we need to do is add lights to it and maybe some other things like that. So maybe I'll just go ahead and do that off camera uh, because, again, we are ending the episode here. But thanks again and again and again for watching and supporting this series, subscribing to the channel. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Any comments for build projects? Now that I'm in creative mode, things are a lot easier for me. So be leaving your suggestions below, and I will see you guys next time.
So that should make our, uh, we're gonna make it a preferred priority. That should make this the main place they're gonna drop off any sort of food from now on, including f dead deer. <laughs> so there we go. I can now set an order to hunt. Who is our good hunter again? It's, I believe, this new colonist here.